problem with that one. <laughs> yes. Me, I'm not planning to run away from Nigeria. What's my own with visa? Let them stop Nigerians from traveling. In fact, all Nigerians that are abroad, send everybody home. Let's face our business. That's my own take. I wouldn't say do it by force, but if it comes to that, I don't mind. So for me, I don't see that as anything. Anybody that wants to ban Nigerians, we need some banning, especially our politicians. Even if you want to do business with foreigners, like you want to do some exports, and because it's coming from Nigeria, there's a problem. 98% of my business is foreign. And I'm a Nigerian. And I understand and I see the, you know, the problems I go through because of that. Which is why you should be worried. That, but I'm not worried. Because that is not my problem. If somebody is using criminal, the criminal action that I've not done to judge me, that is his own problem. You understand what I'm saying? If somebody chooses to discriminate against me due to something that is not true, even though 77 Nigerians are committing, are committed, there are over 1,000 Americans in one company called Chevron alone committing fraud in Nigeria every second. Massive fraud. The kind of fraud that you, nobody can even begin to comprehend. Is this a counter list? If Nigerian government is brave enough, I'm sure they can release counter list. But the, the problem with the Nigerian government is that they are all taking their share. I mean, okay, let me give you a good example now. The American government encourages criminality in Nigeria. Atiku has a criminal case in America. An American senator, this is not me talking, go online, the case is there. Uh, Andrew Young or whatever, I'm forgetting his name, an American has been sentenced to jail based on the business deal with Adik Atiku. But America granted Atiku 24 hours entry into America when he was about to run for president to negotiate whatever they want to negotiate with him. For 24 hours, his criminality was suspended. For what? At what point does criminality become acceptable for 24 hours? But they can release 77 list of some Nigerians that poverty has pushed into crime. Should we even start going into the reason why people commit crime? Should we really go into the reason why there's crime? If it is not the greed of the elites, what causes crime? As I said to you, everything anybody wants is dignity and a voice. You strip people of their, of their, you put them in poverty, and then you tell the people why they are in poverty that since they don't have money, they have no dignity. Only money can give them dignity. And these status things, status symbols, luxury goods that the rich produce. Not only do the rich produce these goods, they go to the poor neighborhoods and advertise it. Not only do they advertise it, they go there and they themselves use conspicuous consumption to oppress the poor. Why the poor stay in their situation without no legitimate hope of escaping? Now there's a difference between a man that commits crime to eat and a man that is already eating but still committing crime. Tell me why uh, uh, people in the Senate are still stealing. They are sitting on billions. You are still stealing. Tell me why we are finding $47 million in empty apartment. In a country where they say there is no money to build hospital. Honorary Andrew Yakubu, G, honorary GM of NNPC, had $9 million cash in his house. In that community, there are no good schools. In this community where they found that money, there is no school there. Let's go there. Let's go and look at the kind of school that is there for the poor. Let's go now. But you are talking about list of... What the fuck? What, what is 77 people? What is my, I don't even know them. The problem with us as motherland people is that we do not think as motherland people. We think first as Europeans, then we think as Nigerians before we think as Africans. And by the time we start thinking as Africans, it's too late. People don't understand what Nigeria is. The identity that they're giving you, that Nigeria... The fact that you, they, they, they renamed us is an oppressive act. I'm Yoruba, but the only way I can see the world is as a Nigerian. Meaning that as a Yoruba, I am bad from seeing the world. My true identity is not allowed to see the world. I must carry my Nigerian passport, bear my Nigerian identity as a sanctioned savage. This savage has been civilized from Yoruba to Nigeria. Now we are going to see the world. Be who you are, speak your English. Ha 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 ha. 
We are living in an open air concentration camp. This country was created by the British to take away our labor and our resources to exploit us. That's what Nigeria was created for. And that's what Nigeria is doing till today. Exploiting our labor in the cities and stealing our resources in the rural areas. So they head us into all these cities. You can see it now. Look at Lagos, all these few cities by the, you know, they push us all of us by the millions away from where the money is, all the gold, all the oil. They come and build all these things in all these places that has nothing. We all rush here, living in, under the bridge, living on top of water, living in slums. It's true, thinking that we are going to make it. Then we are all staying here. We'll, we'll do it. Struggle from our 20s till you are 50. You have no strength to struggle again. You go back to the village. By the time you are back there to see what is happening, really happening, you are too old to fight. And you are too poor to talk. So you used one phrase, open here concentration camp. <laughs> Can you imagine? You, <laughs> now, that, but that's the fact. But you know you, what I, concentration I, camp is? I understand. Though. Yes, but tell me how Lagos is, Nigeria is not an open air concentration camp. They don't put fence, yes, so you don't see the fence. The fences are psychological, it's mental. The bars are mental. But it's there. Do you see the way, do you see Nigerians drowning in the sea, escaping? It is not migration, it's escaping. When you are willing to drown in the ocean to go somewhere, yeah, that's escape. It's no longer migration. Let them not be lying to us. That's why they have their news to be using some words. Uh, the migration, who is migrating? People are escaping. You say migrate. Migrate where? This escaping, there's a difference. And people don't escape from country. You escape from prison, from concentration camp, from oppressive situations. Nigerians are escaping. If they think I'm lying, if nobody, if they say it's a lie, that this country is not a prison, the West should open their borders for 48 hours to Africans. If the West want to say that this Africa that they created is viable, that what I'm saying now is a lie, they should, uh, I did not have a, Mother countries. They are the mother country. They, they used to be called the metropolis when we were colonies. Abi, open the metropolis to the colonies. Oh, yeah, now. For 48 hours. And see what will happen. See what will happen. <laughs> I'll be the only one living in Ikeja. I'm sure of it. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> By the end of the 48 hours, I'll come out of my street. Now, only be good day here. <laughs> yeah, your dog. <laughs> Me and my dog. <laughs> <laughs> and she go go, she go go, no go leave me. She go go, no go leave me go Yankee or anywhere. Lie, lie. <laughs> so, there was something you also said at the beginning that is also of interest that they, they have really conditioned people not to think about how to change it, but to be the best in that situation. Yes, because and it reminds me of you see religion, for instance. Not even re religion is part of the method they are giving to us to say, oh, you can make the best of this. But you see, re even religion is also just an arm of their class. All pastors are elites. They are elitists. They are part of the elite class. You see, their job, really, as I said, that's the difference. We, the oppressed people, our job is to end oppression. Our real job is to end oppression. But you see, the fake activists, the sellouts, the oppressors, what they want, the influencers, the capitalists, what they want is a perfection of oppression. So that is what they call reform. When the people in the drone like this, when people shout, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, 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 not don't stop it, oh. Mm. But oh, yeah, lose this side, lose this side, small, tie this side, tie this. But I, it uh, be too to perfect oppression. Mm. But there's no way anybody can perfect oppression. The perfection of oppression cannot happen. They don't have the formula. So they are trying. That's why they have all the influencers. Everybody, you watch TV. There's a new black billionaire every day. Hey, this black person invented this. This black.